This IX instruction video will present how reusable screens and menus can be developed. We will build a menu on one screen, then reuse it on all other screens in the application. This application has three screens. Let's start by renaming one of the screens by right-clicking on it and selecting Rename. Next, type Background, then click on OK. We will start by creating a menu consisting of buttons. Add a button object to the screen and resize it. Click on the General Ribbon menu. From here we can define the object's text and symbol. In this example, we will select a picture from the component library. It's also possible to browse for a picture. It's easy to create duplicates of an object, then order them in rows and or columns. Right click and select Create Series. For this example, we will generate a menu header consisting of five buttons. Therefore, we will set it to five columns and one row. Each button is modified so that it gets a unique symbol or picture. The Browse dialog allows you to select pictures from either the component library or from folders on your computer. The folder called Project Pictures displays all the pictures used in the current application. Now that all the buttons have a unique picture, we will now assign each with an action. An action can be executed in many different ways, including clicking on the button. We will select the action that should be executed when clicking on the button. Here, we select Show Screen. From the drop-down menu, we select which screen should be opened. In this case, we select Screen 1. The second button is configured to show Screen 2. The navigation buttons are assigned with Show Previous and Show Next actions. We will now select all button objects and change their shape fill. All of the selected objects will change to the same fill color. Let's add a rectangle in order to finalize the menu design. It will contain a digital clock object. The format tool can be used to copy visual properties from one object to another. Select the template object, click on the Format Painter button, and then on the object you want to receive the format. To change the color of the screen, click somewhere in the screen to switch the focus on it. The screen's fill color can now be easily modified. Select the digital clock object and draw it on top of the rectangle. To keep a consistent design, the font color is changed to white instead of black. The design is finalized by adding two rectangles to the screen. The first one will be the header, which will contain the screen's title. The rectangle's color is changed to green. Copy the rectangle by right-clicking and selecting Copy. Right-click again and select Paste. The copied rectangle size is adjusted and the fill color is changed to white. Select one of the screens in the Screen Explorer. Click on the drop-down menu and select which screen should be used as a background. A text object is added for the screen's header. In this case, we type Screen 1. Let's change the font color to white. Copy the text by right-clicking and selecting Copy. Let's also reuse the background for Screen 2 as well. Right-click and select Paste. Change the text to Screen 2. We add a circular meter to the screen so we will see a difference between the screens when simulating the application. Click Run to start the simulation. This allows us to test the application and verify our new developed menu. When the application is running, we can easily check that it executes as expected.